Hey there, art lovers. Welcome back to this art, the channel where we dive into the world of amazing artists and their incredible artworks. Today, we're going to explore the enchanting works of Arthur Rackham. Arthur Rackham was an English book illustrator, known for his stunning pen and ink drawings during the golden age of British book illustration. His unique style combined robust lines with delicate watercolor, creating a truly mesmerizing effect. Let's start with Bluebeard, Rackham's illustration captures the eerie atmosphere of this classic tale, with its dark and mysterious tones. Next up, we have Cinderella 1, Rackham's attention to detail brings this beloved fairy tale to life, showcasing the magic and transformation of Cinderella's story. Moving on to The Story of the Three Bears 2, Rackham's whimsical illustrations perfectly capture the charm and mischief of this timeless children's story. Now, let's take a look at Gulliver 1, Rackham's imaginative depiction of Gulliver's adventures in Lilliput is filled with intricate details and a sense of wonder. In the Trees and Fairies, Rackham's mastery of watercolor shines through, as he creates a magical world where fairies dance among the trees. The king could not contain himself for joy, showcases Rackham's ability to capture emotions, as he portrays the sheer delight of the king in this captivating scene. Moving on to Seven Ravens, Rackham's dark and haunting illustration perfectly captures the eerie atmosphere of this brother's grim tale. In All at Once the door opened and an old, old woman, supporting herself on a crutch, came hobbling out, Rackham's attention to detail brings this classic fairy tale moment to life. Now, let's explore House Building. Rackham's intricate lines and delicate watercolor create a charming scene of a house being built. In Rheingold and the Valkyrie, Rackham's illustrations transport us to the world of Norse mythology, with its epic battles and mythical creatures. As we move on to, when she got to the wood, she met a wolf, Rackham's use of light and shadow adds a sense of danger and suspense to this iconic moment from Little Red Riding Hood. Next up, we have Rapunzel 2, Rackham's ethereal illustration captures the beauty and enchantment of this fairy tale, with its flowing hair and dreamlike setting. In, Hansel picked up the glittering white pebbles and filled his pockets with them, Rackham's attention to detail brings this classic scene from Hansel and Gretel to life. Now, let's take a look at, Frog Prince, Rackham's whimsical illustration captures the magic and transformation of this beloved fairy tale. In, Titania and Peasbottom, Rackham's delicate lines and vibrant colors bring the world of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream to life. Speaking of Midsummer, Rackham's illustration of the same name captures the enchantment and mischief of this magical time of year. Moving on to Gulliver 4, Rackham's attention to detail and imaginative style create a captivating scene from Gulliver's travels. In Gulliver 2, Rackham's illustration showcases the wonder and awe of Gulliver's encounters with giants, with its intricate details and sense of scale. Now, let's explore Jack and the Beanstalk 4, Rackham's illustration captures the adventure and danger of this classic fairy tale, with its towering beanstalk and menacing giant. In Tulips, Rackham's delicate watercolor technique brings these beautiful flowers to life, showcasing his mastery of the medium. Moving on to Queen Mab, Rackham's ethereal illustration captures the enchantment and mystery of this mythical fairy queen. Lastly, we have The Ring of the Nibelung 63, Rackham's intricate and detailed illustration transports us to the world of Wagner's epic opera. And that's a wrap on our journey through the incredible artworks of Arthur Rackham. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of his unique style and imaginative illustrations. Stay tuned for more artist spotlights on this art.